everybody. Thanks for stopping by. Today, I'm going to show you how I make frito pie. You know, typically this dish is made in the oven, layered with all the ingredients, but not today. We're going to do it in the crock pot. Slow cook it till all those flavors marry up. Guys, it doesn't have to be cold outside to enjoy frito chili pie. It's easy, delicious, so let's get started. First thing you want to do is just brown some ground beef. I put just a little oil in a hot skillet. Add some pepper, don't add no salt because a lot of the other ingredients have plenty of salt in there. About halfway through cooking your meat, go ahead and throw in some sweet onions, saute those around for about three to five minutes until all of your meat's done. Then add some chili seasoning. I normally put my own seasonings in there, but this little package somebody told me about it, I thought I'd give it a try. Just mix that in. In fact, all the ingredients of this recipe is listed in the description box below. Once your meat is done, take it off the heat and set it aside and we'll start building our crock pot. Add some crushed maters, some rotel maters and chilies for a little heat, some tomato sauce or paste, and when it, whenever you use this many tomato products, add some sugar. It neutralizes all the acidity in that and it doesn't have quite a bite. Something I do in all my chili, add a little bit of cinnamon, not much. For more heat, red pepper flakes and ranch style beans. Guys, if you've never had chili made with ranch style beans, give it a try. Great flavor. Go ahead and add your meat and your uh, onion mixture to your crock pot and just give it a stir. Now like I said, we're going to cook this slow in the crock pot on low for about three hours. When you got about 30 minutes left, go ahead and take off the cover and start adding your frito corn chips. Stir that around. I'm also going to add some shredded cheese. I'm just going to leave this on top. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover this back up and cook it for about 30 more minutes until the cheese melts and the fritos become softened. And there you go, guys. Crock pot frito chili pie. Now let's serve it up. Put some fritos in the bottom of your bowl and then just pile on your chili. Look at that. Perfect. It smells amazing. Top it with some more cheddar cheese. I'm using sharp cheddar. Hit it with some diced onions. And of course, star of the show, more Frito corn chips. Delicious any time of year. It doesn't have to be cold outside to enjoy this dish, guys. But I tell you what, I hope you guys give this dish a try. And if you do, let me know how it come out. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. I'd love to hear from you. And until next time, as always, enjoy this dish. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye, y'all.